What's up everyone? My name is Dora. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm showing you how to make intergalactic bath bombs just like Lush. They're absolutely stunning. If you like sparkling bath bombs like me, you're gonna love these. Plus, they're so much fun in the tub. All right guys, so today I'm gonna show you how I make Lush's intergalactic bath bomb. I have been in love with this bath bomb. I've worked really hard on this and I've tried to get every single detail correct. First of all, it's blue and it has pink and yellow on the um, middle ends there. This one's like a couple months old. You can see the, the pink has clearly faded. It has gold sparkles and it also has gold salt. As you see how the, the pink and the blue meet and they make this beautiful purple right here. You can also see where the yellow and blue meet and makes a little bit of green. When the mixes meet, they're still fairly wet and it'll make that purple. I did get a little bit of purple, not like they do, but um, ooh, this one got a lot of purple. See that? I love that, how that looks. Yeah, it's beautiful. Ooh, look, that one made some green too. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. So one other thing to be aware of, just like this one, the pink faded. It's crazy because mine did as well, and I actually put them in the sun. It only took 12 hours to go from this to this. Obviously, the real magic happens in water, but um, not too shabby. I wish I did have this mold. So it has a round top and it has a flat bottom with these like kind of like diamond edges. Uh, I could make bath bombs more like Lush, but also this is fantastic because they don't roll when you set them down. Also, it's a buoyancy advantage. You know, these are more likely to float than just round ones. So, but anyway, let's get into it. I'm excited, I love this bath bomb and I feel like you are definitely gonna love it as well. Check out the description for the recipe, important information, tips, and the supply list. We are gonna be making a big batch of blue and two small batches of pink and yellow. First up is the blue. Um, just a quick tip, the mixes dry out fairly quickly, so if you're a beginner or you don't work particularly fast, I recommend cutting this recipe in half. I'm adding liquid dye. For that tutorial, click the icon. Use any gold mica that you have to give the bath bomb that gorgeous shimmer. Now for the mini batches. The SLSA is going to slow reactions in the water. Make another batch for the yellow. This time add 1 16th teaspoon of neon yellow. Now mix and knead the batches thoroughly. Last, add wet ingredients to blue. I do it this way on purpose because the blue mix dries out quicker. 
Again, mix the batch well with your hands and make sure everything is fully incorporated. Next, add gold salt. For that tutorial, click the icon. I'm using 3 inch molds. Add a scoop of blue and make one side a bit higher. Sprinkle pink and yellow on top. Add more blue then pack it down and make it flat. Sprinkle loose blue mix on top and repeat for the other side. Smush the two sides together and make sure both molds touch all the way around. Now tap both sides with a spoon to release the bomb. Isn't that gorgeous? Dry them for 24 to 48 hours. I just left mine on the counter for four days. Out of all the bath treats I make, this is one of my favorites. It has a beautiful display of foam, lots of action, and turns the water a gorgeous blue with golden sparkles. Lush's has sort of a minty scent. I combined Fierce with about 10% peppermint, and it smells amazing. In my opinion, better than Lush's. All in all, I think it's damn close to Lush's, but the only major difference is that Lush's bath bomb is a lot darker in the water. I'll keep working on it, but for now, you can get your fix with this one. All right, guys, that's it. Subscribe now for more awesome tutorials just like this. Make sure to comment below, and if you make this project, I'd love to see pictures. You can tag me on Instagram or Facebook.